The uh, big advantage of getting an abnormal small fiber test is that it allows us to be much more specific about the cause for the patient's symptoms. So for example, in diabetic neuropathy, EMG nerve conduction studies detect only about 60% of all neuropathies. Uh, the small fiber testing picks up somewhere between 88 and 92% of all neuropathies so that we're able to really have a better understanding that the patient's peripheral nerves are the cause for their symptoms. Once we know that it's the cause for their symptoms, then we're able to get more specific diagnoses. So we frequently find, even in unknown diabetics, that they have impaired glucose tolerance, we find B12 deficiency, we find immune system disorders like Sjogren's syndrome or celiac disease that can all be treatable causes of their neuropathy. If you don't get that specific diagnosis and you have a patient whose exam looks normal and their EMG nerve conduction studies look normal, very frequently these patients are told that they don't have a neuropathic pain cause for their symptoms and therefore they go on seeing lots of other doctors. So they'll need to go see podiatrists or orthopedists or pain management specialists and have a host of additional medical tests done when the simple skin biopsy may be enough to be able to prove what they have and to direct their treatment.